How many know it's all right to go? Amen. If you're ready to go, I want to go in style. Hallelujah. So I'll be such it. But in my such sometimes I run across programs of the devil. You young and you say, give your body to God as well as you give him your heart. Because the devil has got folks giving their body to him. You may look at the young folks running around here and dancing. And say, Ooh, look at them. I don't think it take a lot. Why don't you look at what they're doing for the devil sometimes? You know, I had said, I said, it's one of some of them don't break their back sometimes. And sure enough, I had a report. Some of them have injured themselves doing what they call the, what is that? Whatever they do, it, it's so hard on them, but they do it. And, and sometimes look like they act like their body's rags. And I look at how they do, and I see how a lot of people of God is trying to copy the way the devil folks care out. Getting people together and teach them how to kick their leg way up and, 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 and wheel around and let the skirt come way up to the waist. That's the devil's style. We don't need his style. The Holy Ghost got his own style. I said the Holy Ghost got his own style. He'll give you to know how he wants you to praise him. He'll give me to know. He'll anoint us. Hey. 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 Ha. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When you come to the house of God, you come to be built up in Jesus. You don't come to get your spirit stirred up to sin. Huh? I was at a service the other day, every night or sometime, and two women was been doing the uh, chair, with, in cutting out in front of people, praising God. But they must have thought they was at the club. They must have thought they was somewhere where they're supposed to get some man in the them so he'd take them to the room. I felt sorry for the congregation, especially for the men. Those women was doing everything with their body, but just pulling the clothes off. It was a shame. And it is a shame. And you said, well, Sister you ought not sat on that. Well, they ought not do it. If it's being done, the preacher's supposed to cry out against it. Cry out against sin. It's the number one problem amongst the children of God today is who they got and how they got them and when they're going to get somebody else and how they're going to get them. Sex is an idol these days. Turn your TV on and listen to the news. You got to go to some sex parties before you can hear the news. They're going to tell you about chewing gum. They got to show you a naked woman. The devil is not dead and dumb. He know people's nature. You want to get your attention? Want to tell you about something? Pop up a picture before you. While you look at that picture, he'll tell you what he want to say to you. The Bible said the children of the world seem to be more wiser than the children of the kingdom. Instead of us setting the pace for the world, we let we we let them set a pace for us. And most of the pictures is like Isaiah said, they're dumb dogs and they can't bark. Because they're afraid to tell it. I said they're afraid. They're afraid. I don't have some of them to confess to me. They're afraid. They say, I know you preach the truth, but I can't preach what you preach because I would lose my people. I mean, no, the people belong to God. And we are just servants. We are under shepherds. We're supposed to help them to know how to please their God. 